on the inside of this lighter, this metal sleeve, you got to remove it. And there's a clip right here. It's clear plastic. And you can actually see it on the back side. But there's a clip right here. And there's one on the other side. The other one's right there. So you got to push those clips out to get the uh, metal sleeve to slide up. Okay, I got this uh, thing popped out. And after he's removed, this little plastic thing will come out. We'll flip over. As you can see, I turned it at an angle to help me get it out easier. But getting those two plastic clips out, I'll show you when I take it out of here. But yeah, it's all gonna pop out of there now. I'm gonna turn around this way so you can see how it comes out. It's gonna go out through the top. Yeah, it's out. This is the old plastic. I'm replacing it because some idiot drilled holes in it, hooking up a stereo system. Because I bought my 300ZX used. I was the second owner though. I bought it in '96 or '97. All right, so on this thing right here, there's a clip on the inside right there in the center of the screen in the middle. That big clip right there in the middle. That's what's holding on to the metal sleeve. There's one on the other side. Okay, so if you can get to the back side here, you can stick a pick in there. This is a big one right here. You can stick a pick in, in this clip and try to pull it up. And then this is the other one right here, the big one right there in the middle. And these two clips on the side, those like hold this whole thing in place. Okay, I finally took this thing apart. There's three clips on the white plastic that holds the light bulb in. So, see this little clip there? There's one there. There's one on the other side. So there's three sides of the clips. And it's real hard trying to pry it out. So this bulb's bad. I'm gonna go ahead and change it. I just wanna show y'all what it looks like. I'm trying to... So to test these light bulbs, you got two connectors, positive and negative there, and it really doesn't matter which one you stick it to, but you just wanna stick your continuity leads on these little connectors right there and see if anything happens with the screen. And if it stays one and it doesn't do anything, then the bulb's bad. All right, so... Yeah, my little connector here, and I'm gonna stick it. Hear that? So that means the light bulb's good. So I'm gonna take this guy here, and he's got two prongs on him. I think this is the negative, and the big one's the positive. So I'm gonna stick him on here and watch. If it doesn't beep, that means the bulb's bad. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to hold this and put it on camera. Okay. Uh, see, nothing. Nothing. So the bulb's bad. Nothing at all. Okay, these are the bulbs I'm using. They're uh, Sylvania number 37. And that's what fits in there. I actually have different size bulbs and uh I tried another size, but yeah, this is number 37 is a perfect fit. Now the blue sleeve that's over it, even though I got some extra ones, I reused the old one. Now, the way you want to pull these uh, sleeves off the light bulbs, off the old bulbs, is you just roll them, just roll them back <laughs> like a condom. So you want to like just roll it off the bulb like a condom and then stick it back on the new bulb, kind of press the tip of it on, and then roll it down like you're putting a condom on. And I know that sounds funny, but that's the best way to explain it. But uh, if you roll them on and roll them off, you won't tear them. If you try to, you try to peel them off, you'll tear them. 
But yeah, that's the original blue sleeve that came on the original bulb, and I managed to roll it off, roll it back on the new bulb. And that's the number 37 bulb. And there's a continuity test with the new bulb. So it works. Now to install this, there's actually a dention on this plastic right up here at the top. It's an indention. Okay. So to get this on there real easy, you slide it through and this big O adapter that's sticking out, you want this adapter to be facing where this indention is because that indention will get caught on all this plastic and make it hard to install. So you just want to make sure that this stuff is facing that direction. And then grab it from the back side and push it through. It's kind of hard for me to do it with one hand. But yeah, it should go through like that. I look at it most of the way. That's all. That's all. Is it all the way on? No, it's not all the way on. Okay, I think I, there it goes. Got that on. Now after it's installed you can spin it and rotate it and put it in place which I'll have to do that. Okay I have it all back together so the number 37 bulb fit. It's a little tough getting the light bulb to go back in the socket but it, it goes in there it fits. Now before you put this guy back in these clips that I got my thumbs on right here those clips right there, you're going to want to push them in a little bit because sometimes they get bent outwards. And you see, I already got them bent in. But those clip on the side of the lighter, and that's the negative charge for the cigarette lighter. The bottom copper piece down here that I removed is the positive. But if this is these sides are not touching your lighter, it's not going to work because it's not going to get negative and positive charge. So anyways, I just took my fingers like this and just bent it in. And I think they're all bent in pretty evenly, but... Yeah, just make sure you bend them back in before you before you put it back on.